Good morning. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Um, I'm going to try to continue working on the last of these Tangle Speed cards. There are only two left, so let's get them done. Um, doesn't really matter which one I pick. Let's just pick the one on top. Vortex Patello. What relationships, situations, and circumstances do you find yourself repeating? Is there an underlying theme or pattern? What aspect of yourself is being reflected back to you? Recognizing patterns is a good first step toward making changes so you don't get pulled back into the vortex. Patello reminds you that you have a choice whether or not to play the game. That's interesting. Does that apply to me? Usually these, these things apply to me at the moment that we're doing these. Um, not exactly sure that it does, but you know, it is what it is. Let's get a piece of paper. Oh, <laughs> maybe we should look at the pattern. Hello, Don. Oh, cool. Alrighty. So, let's zoom in on this. So we make a kind of a squiggle a little squiggly, where, where's my pointy thing? Not my sharp pointy thing, just my pointy thing. Come on. I thought, there, there, there she is. That's a good, no, not a good one, but it'll work. All right, so we do kind of a squiggly. And then on the outside of it, we do another squiggly. That's easy. And then from each of these squigglies, we come outward like that into each of these points. So they're kind of a, they're squiggly, but they're kind of a little bit pointy, the squiggles, right? Got a little bit of a point to them. And then we can uh, do an aura around them, like so. Easy peasy, right? Let's do that. So let's see, what color should we make it today? Um, I'm feeling good size, and I'm feeling purple. Let's do purple. Right? Okay. Um, and I'm going to, of course, give myself a border because I love my borders. May even me even do that in pen before I even get started, but that's all right. Let's let's give myself a little border to start, and then I'm going to plan out a few of these things. I'm going to want a big one, kind of here, and down here. Let's do some partial ones here, and then we're going to do one here, and one here, and I think one here, and maybe one in here. And one more. Let's do this one a little smaller. And do this one here like this. I'm just going to put some circles like that. And then I'm going to come back in and do those squiggly th bits in that general space. This was a line that was incorrect. And uh, yeah, let's just do it. Let's do the 05, I think. And I'm just going to do a border. Just like so. Just like that. And you know what? I think I'm going to do the outer ring first before I do the inner circle bit. Just because I feel like it. And some jiggles and some wiggles. Some jiggles and some wiggles. Simple as that, right? 
I think it is just as simple as that. Jiggles and wiggles and squiggles. Jiggles and wiggles and squiggles. Some sort of a donut shape. Like so. And we're going to go to just deciding where, which one's going to be on top of what. I think this one's going to be on top. Like that. And then this one. And then this one. So, and then this one over here. Just like that. Look at how cool that is. Easy peasy. I'm going to erase all of my uh, little guidelines. We don't need them. Do we? No, we don't. Just like so. And then I'm going to put the lines, but I think I'm going to go with the next size down pen, which would be my O2. some of the ins and outs to the ins and outs of the, the blobs and then we'll come back through and fill in looks like we need one there and we need one there and we need one here and one there and one here and one here one there for sure I think I need one there Something like that, right? Yeah. Just simple as that. We're just going to go around in order here and uh, connect bits and pieces together. Kind of wherever there's like a peak or a valley, connect those up. Some nice straight lines, and then just come back and fill in the middle. I could just leave it like that without filling it in either. That would work. But I'm going to go ahead and fill it in.
that one has a few less lines. I like it. It's beautiful. Easy. This is so easy. So fun and relaxing. That's as good. Gives me something that I don't have to think real hard about. Great pattern. I love patterns that I don't have to think about. I think Vortex really speaks to uh, what's been going on at my work and this constant change of management. That's nothing I can control, so I can't, I can't really say that recognizing patterns, making changes, that there's no change I can do to affect whether or not we have new management. So I guess it doesn't really tie in personally. I just feel like I've been just in this swirl, this constant pull of, of change. And it just it's just like never ending. We did get our new manager this week. She seems nice enough. She's been a manager quite some time. I don't know how long, but long enough to that we don't have to like train her, which I've had before with brand new managers. So that's awesome. But, uh, She's also a very by-the-books kind of person, which is not what we've had recently. So that's kind of a shock and a change to some of our employees. They're like not quite ready for having to follow all the rules. I'm fine with it. I enjoy a good rule and um, I have no problem following the rules as long as I know what they are. You know, as long as we're all on the same page, I'm good. And not that I wasn't following rules before, but you know, even if I would say, you know, this is not how it's done, we're supposed to do it this way, you know, if the manager had a different way that they wanted something done, I had to follow that rule, right? even when it went against something I knew from experience was not best practice. It's like, hey, that's what you want me to do. You're, you're, you're the one who writes my schedule. You're the one who makes sure I get my hours. You're the one who uh, ultimately, if the item isn't done properly, comes down on you, not me. So, you know, whatever. At this point, it's like, I don't know, I just work here. I just do what I'm told. You know, unless it's something like completely unethical, which of course that I wouldn't do. But when it just comes to, you know, we do this on this day, and it's like, well, that doesn't, that's not practical. We should do it this way, what we've done before. But, you know, as long as it gets done, it really doesn't make any difference. But I have some preferences that I think work best based on many things, including how busy we are. We're a very busy store. We didn't used to be a busy store, but now we are a busy store. And because of that, there are some tasks I think should be done 
on a different day than some managers choose to do them. It's like, no, we're not going to be able to get that done on that day because we're too busy on that day. We need to do it on this day. And that's just my frustration. But I imagine that happens a lot in all other businesses where the boss may have a different idea or understanding than the workers. It's fine. You know, I don't, I just, I just do what I'm told. This is a super easy, very relaxing pattern to do, isn't it? Like that. Alrighty then. Those are done. I'm going to do a little bit more of a thicker here, I think, in the middles. And then I'm going to do that aura around the outside. Let's do that. Go back to my 05. I'm going to go back in here and thicken these up. I think that would look good. And then we're going to go around and do that aura that it suggests. On the outside. Do I have my phone with me? Yes, I do. It's a gloomy day today. We had beautiful weather yesterday. And then today, today we have gloom. A little bit, it's, it's, it's drippy. It's not like raining, raining, but it's enough drippy to get the sidewalk wet. I ordered some more pen refills, like I said I was going to do, and um, I ordered a new set of Posca pens that are um, pastels, pastel colors, not pastels as in the type of medium, but Posca markers that are pastel colors ordered them at the same time my refills came in first and then the pastel poscas are not here yet that's annoying Son's gonna come home at the beginning of next month for a weekend. I'm excited to have that happen. And what else? Trying to think of things to tell you guys. Guess I should do a my prompt cards. I'm hearing
hearing voices. Must be next door. Although I didn't think it was good weather for voices. Apparently it is. I'm going to just do a little between there. Now should I pr color these different colors? I'm tempting. It's very tempting to do that. Or should I just shade? Tempted to shade in color, which I think is what I'm going to do. Maybe do a little graphite shading where they overlap and then give some colors to these guys. I think they should be colored. Okay, let's do that. Let's do a little graphite shading where they overlap. Okay. It's not nope. Okay, uh blendy, blendy, blendy. I like this purple background. I'm feeling like I want to emphasize the purpleness of these little petals and make some purple flowers. You guys can't even hardly tell that that's purple, especially up against that yellow. But it is a nice light purple color. Let's. Ooh, should we color pencil or should I, should I marker? Good question. Good question. Color pencil or marker? Color pencil or marker? Let me check the colors of these on the back of here. How many did I have? I have seven, right? Yes, I have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of these markers. Fifty, forty-nine, fifty-two, fifty-six. Eighty-two, number seventy-six. I don't like seventy-six. 
to blue. Number 87, I like that one. Should we try the pink on there? See if the pink, is oh yeah, I like the pink, okay. So let's do those colors. Did you see any of that? You saw none of that. I am sorry, you guys. I am. I'm sorry. There we go. I just watched. Okay. Those are the colors I swatched. You saw the colors. Uh, I'm going to just do some. Pinks on the top. Just gently. Something like that. And then this one. Or this one, the light blue. I'll go with the light blue. So the other one on top. This one. Been working on the twenty nine faces challenge. Um, and I think next week I'm going to. I'm going to actually uh, work on a few of those with you guys because I think you guys might enjoy it. I don't know. Be something different. Something not pattern based. Give her a go. Oh, I forgot to check to see what my subscriber count was. Are we getting closer? That I can do my giveaway? I want to do that too. I'm just going to do all these different colors of purple. Um, that and then yeah let me check my subscriber count real quick YouTube studio what's it say are you guys doing good no no you're not you're not doing good we're at 29096 I have gotten uh, 57 new subscribers in the last 28 days. So thank you for that. But I need more. We need to be at 30,000 so I can give away some of my art. You you guys want want a chance to win, maybe win this? You have to be in it to win it. And you can't be in it if you're not subscribed. that So, and one more. So they're all just slightly different. Some blues, some pinks, some purples. And then I think I want to put highlights around the edges. 
but those I think I need to do with my colored pencils. Let's look at my swatches. I think we're going to go with, let's start at 37, 36, 35. Well, that's interesting. Look, I have a swatch with no, with no color. I never colored 35 in that spot. Did nobody ever yell at me that I missed a swatch? What the heck? Look at that, I missed a swatch. Okay, we're gonna use that. Let's let's swatch it on the back. Yeah, that's okay. I think we need to go as pastel as possible. I don't know if that one's good. That one's good. Really light blue. Eh, the lighter on this side. No. blue um, only three highlight colors I want some light colors to highlight with yeah let's use that and let's use the light yellow One, two, two, four, five. I need two more, two more highlight colors. So let's use this light green. That will work. And we'll go ahead and use this light tealy color. Okay. All right, highlighting it is. So we're going to highlight the darkest purple or blue with a pink. Let's do this one because I want it far, far away from the, the actual pink. So we're gonna kind of blendy. So can you mix uh, markers and color pencils on one artwork? Absolutely you can. 100%. And then what I want to do is get a little white. I don't have my white out. Where's my white? Where is my white color pencil? Hello? White color pencil, where are you? There. Like that? I think so. Let's do that on all of them. Mix the we'll mix the color in between, but this way I won't accidentally blot out all the white. We'll get the white on first. I think. So you probably guys know by now that if if you come to a video that has a lot of coloring in it, that means the pattern was super easy to draw because then I had time to color. Always a good thing. Um, let's do the 
lavender here. Like that. Did you see that? Nope. I was off screen. That's that. And I want to bring this pink down more over my colored pen. Pencil over the pen. Mixed media. Mixed media! Love the mixed media. Okay. I, I'm liking that. Okay. So then this teal needs to go on top of... Um, colors do I have a left? That's cool. Okay, I like that. Put the teal over the purple. Yep, like that. Like that. Then we want the blue over... here. Okay. Green. Is it going to go over the pink? I think so. Limey green over the pink changes it pink to a sort of a coral color. That's cool. Love that. That's a cool color combination right there. That one I like a lot. And then we have this one, yellow over the cornflower sort of color. Like so. Peach color over this light blue. And then I'm going to come back in with a pen and highlight. Like that. I feel like the insides of these need to be darker, but I don't want them to be black. So I'm going to come in with this sort of a cool gray. And just knock back the middles of these so that they're not standing out. Just gently. Not a lot of color. Just enough to make them sink more into the background. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so now I want a bright, bright white. Let's use our paint pen. Shake that up. Get it going.
do it so I don't stick my hands in it. Like that. Am I off screen again? Probably. The white pencil was just not enough for me. It needed a pop more. A bigger pop of color. And then I think I'm going to do dots in the middle here. Yes, yes, absolutely. I am happy with how that turned out. I have to put all those away. All right, you guys have a great day. I will see you on the next video. Don't know if I was off screen a lot on this one because I wasn't paying enough attention. I'm sorry, I'm exhausted. It's been a long week. Um, but I really like how that turned out. That that was a fun pattern to do. I really like that one. All right. So you guys have a great day. I will see you on the next video. Uh, next week we will probably finish the last of the cards. And then maybe do some 29 face stuff. All right. You guys have a great day. Do something nice for someone today. Make the world a better place. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.